lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, gender non-conforming, and two-spirit. You probably haven't heard the last one, right? While two-spirit is a Native American term used to describe people who are believed to be blessed with both male and female spirits. And while the word itself is relatively new, two-spirit people have actually been around for centuries. So let us explain. For the hundreds of tribes who lived in what is now known as the United States, two-spirit people were individuals who took on both traditional female and male roles. For example, a two-spirit man might be both a weaver and a hunter, or a two-spirit woman might excel at crafting and combat. The tribe celebrated them not because of their gender identity, but for their range of skills. They were respected as healers, seers, and medicine people. They were considered lucky in finding love, and they could help others by matchmaking and creating love potions. Two-spirit people were often referred to in a third or fourth gender, but each tribe had their own interpretation and word for it. And while being two-spirit was more about the natural fluidity of gender roles than about sexual orientation, they did tend to have same-sex relationships. Two-spirit people were honored within their communities. They were celebrated, embraced, normalized. But ignorant European settlers not only treated them poorly, but they were also perplexed by their same-sex relationships. And not surprisingly, over time, American missionaries and government agents did all they could to stamp out these cultural practices among natives. They forced relocation and forced mandatory boarding schools to culturally assimilate into white society and required Christian conversion. So as you can imagine, two-spirit traditions began to fall by the wayside. Luckily, a small number of people were able to preserve them. Native American activists in the 1960s unearthed this tradition. And slowly, knowledge about indigenous gender non-conforming people began to spread. So in the late 1980s, Native American activists began referring to queer members of their community with a new term, two-spirit. Because it was in English, the term united hundreds of Native tribes and communities under a language and culture they all knew and shared. And like other modern terms like LGBTQ, the term two-spirit emphasizes spiritual and historical heritage as opposed to the sexual and biological aspects of gender identity. Although two-spirit is in English, its origins are rooted in indigenous language. The term became official at the 1990 Inter-Tribal Native American Conference in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Today, while two-spirit people continue to deal with the effects of colonizers' attempts to wipe out Native culture, the term is being used by the indigenous queer community to help them claim not just their gender identity, but their ethnic and spiritual heritage too. Every time you hear about the need to break away from the binary, every time you hear the need to fight for gender fluidity, do remember that it's a term that is not a new fight. It's actually returned to our roots.